it's September and we're going to do um, patatas al monton. And for that you need new potatoes, soft chorizo, parsley, that's flat leaf Italian parsley, good fresh eggs, garlic, and pimenton, which is the Spanish version of paprika, and it's this is the sweet one, dulce. And those together will make papas al monton. With them, because they're still there in September, we're going to have padron peppers. Some of them are hot, some of them are really fiery, very few, and most of them are sweet. And they are really good. And you just fry them and then scatter them with, um, with rough salt. And it's delicious. As you can see, it's smoking, so it's ready to go. And I just drop in, I don't wash them, the hot oil will deal with anything that um, might be on the surface. Let's go. See them popping? You don't want to drop the heat of the oil by putting in more than one layer. And then you just let them do their thing. And I have my nice small potatoes ready cooked till perfectly tender. You can fry them. You can chop them up and fry them if they're older. But these are rather good and small. And they're easy to finish off with the eggs. Everything in a tapa should be about the right size to put in your mouth without having to cut it from the plate. That's the whole principle of chapas, is that they're just a mouthful. They're nothing, they're not a serious meal, except they're good. I think some of these are nearly ready, and they're beginning to smell really good. You'll see other peppers called frying peppers, but these ones look different because they're small, and they have that excitement of only some of them are actually peppery. That's the hot. You just take them out when they're done. They sort of change colour. You don't want them to go too floppy. Not burnt, just a little bit brisket. And softening. You can see how they're softening as they come out of the oil. I think they're now denominational and you can't sell them under the name of Padron unless they actually come from Padron. They need to be salted while they're still warm. That's it. Easy. Really good with a bit of bread. We're now going to do the patatas al monton, which is soft chorizo, which can be crumbled and gives a really good flavour to the potatoes, which are then quite simply scrambled with eggs. And the name patatas del monton means that they are piled up in a heap. That's all it is. The garlic, you couldn't cook anything in Spain without garlic. And a bit of flat leaf parsley, and um, we're pretty much ready to go. You can see it's all quite rough. Now I'm going to beat the eggs together, put them up together. It's a quickly cooked dish, so you need to have everything pretty much ready before you start. The half the trick with cooking is timing. You need to know pretty much what you're doing when you begin. You need to know where you're heading for. Now that's the olive, the olive oil that I used for the, the, the peppers. I think the chefs never tell you how much oil and butter and cream they use. It would be horrified. And that of course is why things taste good. The garlic. I'll save the pasta for last. In goes the crumbled up chorizo, which will cook down. Now the thing about the pimenton is that you don't put it in until the end because it's a vegetable and it burns. So you can put it into water, but you wouldn't put it into oil. Now you can see that the olive oil will take the colour of the chorizo. It's beginning to look. 
Rather good. Take the plastic in now. And have a bit of pimento on, on the top. You can hear it fizzle. A little bit of salt. And it smells smoky. And we're nearly there. See how the colours change. When you're buying pimenton, it should always be a really good, strong colour. There's no point in having last year's. You've got to pretty much replace it every year. It's one of the few spices that you do. Okay, in go the eggs. This is going to be just a moment. I can turn the heat off now. Is the, the heat of the pan will be enough. The eggs should just be set. You can see this is the kind of thing that you can actually rush up in a moment when unexpected people arrive. Very cheap, very easy. You've got the proportion of potatoes if you've got more people. A few more eggs. Yeah. Now this you would eat with bread. And everybody sits around and takes the dish in front of them. Menton on the top, just to make it look pretty and tell people what they're getting. Maybe a little bit of parsley.